everybody, this is Jerry from West Coast Kayaks. Today we're going to be reviewing the Autopilot 120 by Old Town. Uh, also comes in a 13 and a half foot version. 120 is what we're going to be going over today. Uh, 12 feet long, 37 inches wide. It weighs 152 pounds. That is uh, with the motor and uh, has a 45 pound thrust Minn Kota with spot lock. This thing is beautiful. This is a remote control to for your motor in the front and it's amazing you come across something and you want to you can control your speed your direction you can stand up in this because it's a pontoon hull so it's super stable and you can control right left if you, if you see something where you that catches your eye if you're fishing it's a fish if it's a dolphin it's a dolphin whatever it is you're doing you hit that little anchor button and it will hold your kayak in place and adjust the motor the angle the direction the speed to keep you in place without you doing anything it's amazing. Let's take a look at this. Starting at the front, if you wanted to add a fish finder or a GPS, it's got a spot right here uh, to do so. It has a whole pattern already for a Helix 5 or for a Humminbird, but that's starboard, so whatever kind of uh, transducer you have, you can screw right into that without breaching the hull, which is nice to be able to do. Um, little hatch in the front, nice carry handle there. That's pretty standard, nice flush. Uh, track mounts. I like that you can steer this also with your feet. So if you're sitting down, you can just, if you want to go left, push with your left foot. If you want to go right, push with your right foot. If you get into some weeds or something and you, uh, you can just sense your prop your, that your motor's slowing down, first you'd go into reverse. After that, then you would just pull this. Motor pops right up. When you're done at the end of the day, you would do the same thing. Pop the motor up and then it's a plug in place. So you just unplug it right here and hit that clip and the motor comes out. Uh, working our way back, you have two forward-facing rod holders. Those are great. Got two in the back here also, of course, but what's nice with the forward-facing rod holder is when you're hooked into a fish or you want to change your lure, your bait, it's right there, right in your lap. You don't have line going all over the place. Really nice. Um, this is a two-position seat. This is showing it in the low position. You just pop it out and then you can move it up about four inches over on this side, you have a waterproof, or I'll say water resistant in case you're an attorney, but it is a very dry uh, compartment there. Great spot, big enough for obnoxiously large cell phones as well as tackle, all kinds of gear, just in the right spot. And then on this side, you've got another nook over here for a Plano box. You can actually put three of them over here, really wide. Um, nice deep uh, cup holder so this holds not just for your little but a nice big you know tumbler let's say tumbler so we don't violate anyone's trademark moving back underneath the seat is your battery box this is also plug and play so at the end of the day just the same as you would with the motor you just unplug it right here and then your battery is off for the day um, you have a hatch in the back and all of Old Town, I mean, everything they do, you've been around 125 years, it's because you know what you're doing. But nice thick gasket on this, so you can see when you lock it, how it puts that in the upward position there. So that is a very dry hatch on that. Again, your two rear-facing rod holders, and then look at the trunk on this. It's not all broken up into a bunch of different sections. You can put multiple things back there. You can put a little... Uh, Larry chair, a little seat back here because again, it has over 550 pounds capacity. Um, huge cooler, just a lot of options, a lot of variables as far as what you can do with this. Um, also tucked away in the back here is a little filler plate. If you just want to go out for a regular paddle without your motor, you don't have a hole in the center of your kayak. So they really thought of everything on this. Um, it's a beautiful thing. That is the Old Town Autopilot 120. Um, come see us here at West Coast Kayaks in St. Petersburg, Florida. Thanks.